Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Ian Chikino. I'm going to cast a game today on Metalopolis. This is actually a best of three series between the Muslim, now currently with Team EG. That was a pretty uh, bit of recent news, the Muslim, going over there to EG. And he's our Terran player, our light blue Terran player on the right side of the map and on the cross position side. Uh, horizontally, at least, we've got Sock from Clan ATN. And I can't recall off the top of my head anybody else from Clan ATN. So... I don't remember who else is on this plan. But anyway, uh, he's our purple Protoss player on the left side of the map. And uh, doing a pretty basic opening. Both players so far, nothing nothing crazy going on. Sock going for a scout after that gateway. He's going to run around the map, look for his opponent. And gas going up for uh, both players there. Basic, basic opening. And like I said, this is a best of three. So... Uh, have more games after this one, so uh, make sure to check out those. Sock always usually has uh, very interesting plays, as so is the Muslim, so hopefully we'll have a pretty interesting game here. If we take both of them and add them together, hopefully it'll make a great a great set of three, great replay. And what do we got down here? Another pylon, checking it out. And uh, there's that Cybernetics Core being popped up as soon as that gateway finishes. We want to get that Cybernetics Core up almost as soon as possible with almost every single Protoss build, you know, save for uh, very few. So uh, Simulator going up pretty quick, uh, second gas, uh, right after that Cybernex score is about one third done. We may see Sock open up a Robo, Gateway Robo, I think that'd be a pretty safe build <coughs> Excuse me, on this map. Get that Observer out and uh, allow yourself to get up an expansion. And uh, the Muslim going for a Tech Lab on his Barracks. Uh, tech Lab first, he might go for a Reaper, nope, going for a Marauder with uh, Custom Shells. Occasionally you'll see a Terran player get one Reaper out if he just wants to do some scouting to see what his opponent is going for uh, later on in the game. After this uh, Stalker gets out, of this uh, SCV is definitely not going to be able to scout anymore. So we got, oh wow, one uh, one gateway expand for our Terran player here going for Marauders, getting that Concussive Shells, and just going to build up there, build that expansion, and this probe is just going to kind of hang out here and look for this expansion, check out what kind of units are up to. Now, uh, I don't really like to position of that probe where he had it placed. I mean, if he wanted to use it for uh, scouting for an expansion, I think it would have been smarter just to leave it back here and maybe have it back here and I'll control to run up to like here so you'd have vision a little bit of that. But I don't know, Sokka's a pretty good player, so I hope he knows what he's doing. Also, I mean, if if the purpose of that probe was to uh, check for an incoming push, I think it would have been better to leave it at the Zelnaga Tower. Uh, because that uh, provides a lot more vision, and uh, if they're going this far into the map, usually they're going to attack you. So we have pressure coming out, and what do we got here from Saki? I see a, a Stargate popping up. Where's the Stargate at? Right here. So Stargate, uh, if you can get that Void Ray out, is going to do pretty well against uh, this one Marauder, two Marauder, one Marine uh, SCV push. So this is just going to be a little bit of pressure for Sock to have to deal with. He's going to get the second, this actually first century out. He's going to be able to force field that ramp if that uh, Terran player decides to run up it. And uh, there he goes, he's going to get that ramp, he's going to force field, there's the force field, and he really needs to pick off this SCV so he doesn't have the high ground vision. There he goes, now he can freely shoot at those marauders, but no, he's going to run away. And he doesn't have enough for another sentry yet, or another force field, but uh, another one is coming out here very soon. Warp gate is finished, so he needs to turn these into warp gates. There he goes, so the marauders are going to get in here, the border is out, he's just going to try and snipe some probes, because uh, he knows he's going to die no matter what. Looks like he's going to get, oh wow, there we go. I think he got two or three probes there, at least two, uh, maybe three. So the Void Ray is out, uh, the Muslim is aware of that Void Ray, and he's probably going to start pumping a bunch of Marines out, and he's got Stim, no, not getting Stim first, getting Combat Shields, but he's definitely going to need Stim if he wants to deal with uh, multiple Void Rays. So the expansion is going up for Sock, and that one Marauder, uh, looks like the reinforcements are showing up, they just did get killed, so uh, he's not going to be around to see how this game turns out, and this Void Ray is just hauling ass all over here, the other side of the map, but he's just watch out for those Marines. They do have those, <coughs> excuse me, combat shields, so uh, they have a little bit more life than usual. And this Void Ray is just kind of come up here, do some scouting, check on stuff out, and there's some rallied Marines uh, taking a little bit of damage there. He needs to fall back before he loses any of his whole damage, taking a little bit of damage there. And he may just start harassing over here, harassing his SCVs while they're mining. Pretty safe thing to do, focusing down the mule and try and get rid of that. The thing was about uh, one third uh, left on it, so that reduces a little bit of its mining time. Now. Uh, he only has one on gas, I'm not sure if that's on purpose, or if 
Uh, he pulled them off gas to put them on minerals to make more marines and make more bunkers. Or if he just forgot to put them on gas, I'd have to go back and look. But it looks like he's putting uh, one more on gas now. So that seems to be a, a decision he made on purpose to only put one on gas there. No gas down here. Pumping marines and getting combat shield. So we got a twilight comes coming up. I'm assuming he's going to get charged. Yep, he's getting charged. Uh, he's kind of forced his opponent to get a lot of marines to deal with these void rays. He showed one void... He's show, shown? Yes, he's shown one Void Ray, and his opponent, the Muslim, is getting a lot of uh, Zelts, or sorry, a lot of Marines at this point with Stim. And uh, the good counter to that is just to get a whole bunch of Zelts with Charge, and you can just kind of run up those Marines even if they have Stim. Do a bunch of damage. Oh no, it suck. Almost lost a Void Ray there. Is there more Marines are going to cut him off? Ooh, uh, he's going to still be able to get him though if he runs up here. And yeah, he's going to lose that one Void Ray, unfortunately. Be a little bit careless with the Void Ray there. But uh, I think these charged zealots are going to be really nice. And he's even getting dark templars too. So uh, is he going to get any upgrades? There we go. One attack upgrade. It's going to be pretty smart to get. Now he's basically stopped making void rays. He just made the two. And uh, I think uh, the Muslim at this point is assuming maybe more void rays are coming. He showed me two. Maybe he's going to just keep with void rays the whole game. But no, he's actually not. He's gonna zealots with charge and dark templar. Probably won't see many more void rays this game just because so many marine, so many marines have been produced. And uh, there's just so many barracks pumping out marines. He's got five racks. Starting to get uh, the second refinery, and these marines look like they're wanting to go go to work. They want to harvest some gas up here. <laughs> but we have the attack and a hit, and the Muslim with uh, both of his, and ooh, Charge is just about ready to finish. He's going to get so good timings right here. A couple force fields, he's going to be able to hold this off and get some good positions for Charge. Force fields behind, charging, trapping in all those units up in the front, and most of those marauders and marines at the front are going to die. These marines are doing quite a bit of damage here in the back. They're going to have to just stem micro, run away. Man, they're doing very good micro, taking off most of those. Uh, Zealots, but he's going to have to sim again if he wants to out-micro them. Doing a lot of uh, damage here. Actually, more than I thought he would. And uh, more reinforcements coming in. Three D DTs coming up, and these Marines are going to have to run all the way home. And hopefully he's going to see this uh, distortion in the map, and he's going to be able to make... There it is, the Engineering Bay. He knows these DTs are there. He hears the, the Dark Templars reaping his Marines, and the Engineering Bay is going up. He's even blocking his ramp with the Double Engineering Bay. He's afraid that there may be, there may be a close proxy pylon allowed DTs to get there even closer than what he assumed so very smart move by did Muslim walling off that uh, forcing those DTs to have to uh, kill that before getting into his main and he's probably gonna throw up a uh, missile turret here very soon and Sock uh, just checking for expansions not really going too aggressive with these DTs he knows his opponent is good and he's not gonna try and over overplay his hand with these DTs he's probably gonna get one or two kills here with this DT before he scans. Yeah, he's going to have to waste his scan, but he did get three kills. Actually, that was probably only two. Uh, he had one from earlier. So the Muslim is going to cancel this engineering grade, probably. He doesn't really need three, and he doesn't want to wall that off. So Sock throwing up a third base. Uh, once you do get DTs out on the map, and your opponent doesn't have uh, a Raven out, and they're, they rely on scans, you really have map control for a certain period of time, and it really allowed Sock just to go ahead and get a third expansion up, or a third base up, sorry. And getting some more upgrades, getting more upgrades, upgrades, and another gateway. <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of gateways, and even adding in some some high templars at this point. He already has a twilight cancel. He knows his opponent is going really heavy into bio. High templars seem like a really great play. So the Muslim uh, is going to get chopped up here a little bit, and oh wow, there we go. That uh, it shows how handy that those uh, shields are. It doesn't allow the DT to one-shot your Marines, and he's just going to go in for an attack. And Sok is going to have to defend this. He does have Storm. Wow, Storm is just finishing on time. He's getting so, <laughs> so lucky with these timings. It's just like Charge finishes right before he attacks. Storm finishes right before he attacks. If the Muslim would have shown up 10 seconds sooner, this fight's going to be so differently. Look at those Storms right there. He can keep going to keep them at bay uh, a little bit. He could have done those a little bit better, but uh, it's going to work out pretty good for him here. I think he needs to work these into uh, Archons, but he's not going to. Marines down here are going to kill a lot of probes, and wow, this High Templar is just going to get picked off in the rally. And wow, the Muslim may just trash him right here at this point. Uh, Sok is going to have to warp in a lot of reinforcements. He's going to lose this. I don't think uh, the Muslim has seen this expansion. No, yes, he did. He walked up three Marines up there, and those guys are just getting kills. He's just spreading his Marines out so well, getting all kinds of probe kills. We can check out the Harvester count. 37-54. Wow, the, uh, the Muslims is working out really well here. I thought this fight was going to go much worse. Those storms really didn't land on the marines like they needed to. Uh, Zelts are going to clean this up here. Looks like he's going to lose this expansion. Lose all the probes here at this expansion. But he's going to eventually clean it up. And uh, the Muslim is in a great position. He's even setting up another expansion. Going to take that. Building some more barracks. A lot of barracks being built. And it looks like that Cardarian amulet is just about ready to finish. So uh, 
check how many gateways he's up to. Up to a lot of gateways here. Nine gateways for Sock at this point, and uh, rebuilding this expansion. And uh, another attack is on the way. So the Muslim uh, has that Raven out now, so he's not really worried about those DTs. Those DTs really, if there are any more left in the map, just kind of need to be warped into Archons. And uh, looks like we're gonna have attack. Looks like the Muslim, uh, knowing he took out that natural expansion, is gonna go and finish the job here at this uh, third base. Throwing out some auto turrets really doesn't need uh, point defense drones. And uh, he's gonna stim in there. He's gonna just gonna focus fire. Wow, great storm right there in the middle. All those units. He's just gonna focus fire, kill the nexus, and is he gonna fall back? Looks like he's just gonna fall back to a little bit of stim micro and uh, take out all those charge lots. Raven kind of hanging up here, checking out the fight, uh, approving of the destruction that the, the Muslim is doing, taking out that expansion, nice play, and even taking the gold for himself, upgrading that to a planetary fortress, putting a missile turret there as well to uh, detect any DTs. And of course, the DT shows up just in time. He's gonna take out that SCV, he's gonna work on that missile turret, but this planetary fortress isn't gonna transform just quickly, just uh, not quickly enough, and he's gonna take that out. And uh, But it looks like he's gonna scan, take out that DT. Does he have a scan? Does he have a scan? Oh no, he's losing all his units. He even stimmed to get over here. <laughs> and he's losing his units. Does he have enough? Uh, looks like, oh man, I missed, oh man. I'm gonna rewind that. That was just horrible of me. I was too busy watching that. I was like, why is he not paying attention? But uh, let me speed this up here. We already saw this. Takes out this expansion, but I wanna see that fight at the front of the base because he lost uh, his entire biomass there at that point. So here we go, he's gonna take out these pylons and uh, stimming a couple more times take out these and here's where the DT shows up but I was watching that and I want to see what happens over here it's like we're gonna have some really good storms these units are pretty low on life I think this attack here is ill-fated to begin with one storm is basically gonna kill everything uh, if it actually hits anything and yeah that another storm just wipes all of that out so uh, that was probably not the smartest move by the Muslim uh, just going in there with all his units you know half cocked half life I don't think that was pretty uh, I don't think that was a very smart move he probably should just uh, you know he did so much damage here and his, so many of his units were still alive. He has medevacs. Uh, just fall back, heal up, keep those units alive, keep your uh, food count up. Speaking of food count, let's check that out. 111 to 56. So uh, at this point, wow, the Muslim dropping here in the back. Uh, I didn't see that. And we got some uh, High Templars going to get taken out, but DT's there. Going to do so much damage. Look at that, 50 damage from those DT's. Medevac trying to do some healing. going to pick up those Marauders and get out of there. A Void Ray is showing up. Is this Void Ray from the earlier in the game that was hanging out? I think he just remembered about that Void Ray. I haven't even recalled where that Void Ray has been this whole game. It was up here earlier, but now it's back in action. I think that is the the same Void Ray from earlier. Because I haven't seen him make any more. Another drop coming in. The Muslim really wants to take out some more of these uh, pylons and units. Uh, he's got 1-1 tech upgrade. Let me go back to the production tab. And getting 2-2 two -two at this point. Great storm there. He's going to have to fall back. Micro, wow, nice double feedback on those medevacs. He's just going to try and micro against these uh, zealots. More units being warped from the back. And another good storm that that soccer was... Uh, not long for this world, and he just ends up dying. And he's trying to micro very well against these elves, but maybe they're going to catch him and chop him up. He needs to pick him up. Only loses one at that point, not too bad. This Void Raid might be able to catch this. What's the speed of uh, all these? 2.25. And I can't remember the speed of a Medivac. Let's check that out. 2.5. So actually, the Medivac is faster than Void Raid. And well, this Raven is still hanging out over here. He's been over there for a while, so uh, both players just kind of forget where their units are this game. And that Raven is not getting home. 2.25, 2.25 for both, so that Raven. Uh, does have the same move speed as the Void Rate, and is going to get taken out. So now the Muslim is in a great position. Look at this 68-41 Harvester count, 135-70. Uh, I don't see uh, the Muslim losing this whatsoever. He can basically just straight produce bio for the rest of the game. Look at this, even making three more racks, getting more upgrades, getting more supply depots. This is going to be uh, just a point to wait for uh, Sock to GG at this point. And Archon showing up, Zealot to charge, and these Marauders stimming. Going to try and take out those Zealots. And this, this more isn't fast enough to catch it to those stems and waters. And he's just going to pick him up in the medevac as soon as that is done. Now High Templar are going to try and show up and do some feedback, some storms. Good storm. And double feedback. There we go. But he has no AA. And we have another uh, control group of units here from the Muslims. He's going to come up, walk right through that storm. Focus fire killed down. Wow, he killed that one High Templar right before he warps in. And just walks straight in some more zealots. But I really don't think it matters. Uh, at this point, the Muslim can kind of just throw units at the problem and kill it. Uh, just because he has so much higher income, so much higher food. Warping in an Archon, but it doesn't look like it's going to have these cells chasing around with some mobs. He's like, wait, hold on! I got a present for you! And uh, here we go, here's the Archon showing up, doing 39 damage. First Biological, just zipping him, zapping him, shooting him with a lightning beam. He's going to clean that up very nicely. 
and some Void Ray Harass just far enough away from the Missile Turret just to be annoying. And if he kills that Medivac with all the units in it, that's going to be quite funny. But dropping him, no, oh, I thought he could have taken it there at that point. No, I didn't even need to stim there. He's going to go back here to the sweet spot and kill some SCVs. And I think he actually has like three or four SCVs on heal. No, wait, it's a Medivac healing. The Medivac and the Void Ray are in the internal battle of, uh, I can heal faster than you can do damage, but... Uh, there we go. Showing up, more units being dropped in here. Drops coming in, and wow, the Muslim just dropping units all over the place, small groups. Coming up all over the place, and uh, charge zealots, ch charge zealots chasing these marauders. That's been like the theme of this game. Charge, charge zealots trying to chase down, kill marauders. Medivacs getting fed back, and uh, storms being dropped. I'm just gonna do some damage here. And is he attacking his own dark shrine? So sock with a little bit of a misclick there, attacking his own dark shrine. Damn you, dark shrine! You were completely worthless this game to me. I made those DTs. And they didn't do anything except make my opponent make a missile turret. He did get a couple of uh, SCV kills, but I think in the long run, those DTs weren't really uh, as effective as he had hoped they would be. And another attack here coming from the Muslims. Endless stream of units just coming in. And we even have a Mobius reactor being researched for the Ghost. And this expansion is going to be dropped. Hopefully Sock will cancel this. He needs to cancel this for this. Dies! Oh no, he's getting positioned. Okay, good. He canceled it. He got his money back. Most of his money, at least. And the Muslim is going to go in here. This might be the final blow. He does have quite a lot of uh, storms left. And there we go. Wow, some pretty decent storms and not even micro -nettos. Stimming up here, trying to focus, trying to kill those high Templars. Those uh, Archons may be able to wrap this up. Not going to get too much splash damage because the units are so well spread. Marauders and Marines very well spread. Looks like he's uh, trying to dodge failing attacks or something at this point. <laughs> These Marines are running away from himself. And uh, there we got the GG Sock now finally giving up. That was a, a pretty interesting game there. I thought Sock had kind of, uh, just trying to play mind games, I think, with uh, DeMuslim at the beginning, you know, getting uh, the Void Ray uh, to trick his opponent to go Marine, and then he would go DT to DT and Storm to deal with that and charge Zealots. Uh, I don't know where it went bad, just like those attacks, just DeMuslim. Uh, he just, he just microed his Marine Marauder Medivac very well, and was very uh, good on the harassing, and uh, Sock's harass just didn't turn out so well with those DTs, it was easily shut down. So I'm going to move on to game number two, so uh, I'll see you there.